Roy Keane has laid into Manchester United's unforgivable performance against Coventry City, admitting it was the kind of game that keeps you awake at night. United almost suffered humiliation at Wembley last Sunday. They led 3-0 in their FA Cup semi-final before Coventry battled back for 3-3. The championship side then looked to have won at the end of extra time as they netted for 4-3. And United's players were left breathing a huge sigh of relief after the strike was controversially ruled out for offside by VAR. Eric Ten Hag's men then scraped through the penalty shootout after missing their first spot kick. Read more on Man UTDGIGGSYS treble Ryan Giggs to become dad for third time aged 50 with model, 3-6 VAN life win a stunning VW campervan plus £1,000 or £45,000 cash from just 89p with our code and a monumental task awaits in the final as they take on rivals Man City, who won the same fixture in last year's showpiece match. United just about recovered from their Coventry nightmare by beating Sheffield United 4-2 in a much-needed comeback win. But former captain Keane reckons his old side's performance at Wembley is sure to continue hurting for the rest of the season. And had they gone on to lose the match? It would have been, unforgivable, on all fronts. Most read in football unbelievable axed soccer Saturday stars reunite, without the, most difficult colleagues key goodbye Sky Axe popular football show as gutted producer posts emotional statement Giggsy's treble Ryan Giggs to become dad for third time aged 50 with model. 3-6 IT looks bad to La Liga stars rush to hospital after horror training ground accident best free bet sign up offers for UK bookmakers he told the stick to football podcast, would you ever recover from that? Seriously, as a player or a manager, your Man United, playing a championship side and your 3-0 up. You'd never forgive yourself. Roy Keane admits he was absolutely disgraceful with his drinking habits during Man United career, there's games we look back on now. We talk about bottle jobs and games we feel we should have won. These are the games that keep you awake at night. To be 3-0 up, you could never forgive yourself. Pal Gary Neville then said, it would have been a public annihilation for four weeks. The stadiums would have been pretty toxic. The criticism and scrutiny on the manager would have been horrific. It'll still be big but I was relieved. Pundit's verdict on Ten Hag's future Where do the pundits stand on Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United future Jamie Carragher? Sack, I don't see how Eric Ten Hag stays. It's just performance after performance. Gary Neville, stay if he wins the FA Cup to sack a manager who's won two trophies in his first two seasons at the club I think would be extreme. Louis Sahar. On the fence I don't see it as clearly but they need changes from the players but they need changes from him as well. Alan Shearer. Sacked I believe the future of the Man United manager is already determined. Even if they win the FA Cup I think H is gone. Keane added. I think Ten Hag could have got into the players after the game, not target individuals but say, that was unacceptable.
this is Man United, we need to do better than that. If we're 3-0 up, we need to see the game out. Reflecting on Ten Hag's future, Keane ended, the one thing you'd say about him is H has come out with a bit of fight. I don't mind it, the man's entitled to his opinion, but I look at it and go, I hope your team is fighting the way you are right now. It might be too little too late but it's nice to see it. Your team didn't show enough fight at the end when they were under the cosh. Do I think H is a good coach? Yes. Do I think H is running good coaching sessions? I'm sure, of course he is. But the other day, when it goes 3-1, to 3-2, to two, I want to see a bit of madness. I want to see a manager on the sidelines getting a grip of people. When people are making statements or going on Twitter, get a grip of the fellas, it's unacceptable. Read more Sun S-T-O-R-I-E-S-T-R-A-G-I-C Deathboy, 5, killed after being hit by Ford Fiesta on Busy Road in Horror Smash Toy Joy Iconic 90 shop to return to more high streets this year after disappearing, it's not necessarily about throwing people under the bus. There's more to being a coach. The great coaches and managers have personalities. And they would NT let that happen. Roy Keane and Gary Neville were speaking on the Stick to Football podcast, brought to you by Skybet.